Today, we're going to walk through the process of installing the Ansible Automation Platform on an OpenShift cluster. Follow along as we navigate through various menus and set up our automation controller. But first, let's get our OpenShift cluster installed using the native service in Azure. Simply search for OpenShift and you'll find the Azure Red Hat OpenShift cluster service. Then select the creation of your Arrow cluster using the interactive wizard. Within the wizard, you'll choose your region, cluster name, and set custom domain names and even adjust your work node sizing and counts. Add your Red Hat pull secret to enable access to the Red Hat operator hub and official registries. Change your networking settings such as subnets, ranges to your needs. Tag your environments. Then review all your details to make sure they are as expected and click Create. Once the deployment process begins, it can take up to 30 minutes to complete. Once it's complete, go to your resources to access the OpenShift cluster and click on the connection details. Within the connection details, launch the OpenShift console URL and log in using your Kube admin credentials. Now we are ready to install Ansible Automation Platform on our new OpenShift cluster. Start by navigating to the Operators menu. Here, select Operator Hub and type in Ansible. This will bring up the Ansible Automation Platform for you to install. Click on the Install button next to the Ansible Automation Platform. In the Install Operator screen, ensure that the update channel is set to the latest cluster scoped version. Specify the namespace on the cluster, in this case AAP, and click Install. The operator will now install to the OpenShift cluster. This will take a minute or two. Once installed, click on the View Operator button to proceed. In the AAP Operator menu, select Automation Controller. Click on Create Automation Controller, give it a name. Here we specified My Automation Controller as our name before clicking Create. You can monitor the installation of the Automation Controller pods in real time under the Pods menu in Workloads. Once all the pods are up and running, go to Networking, then Routes, and select the Automation Controller route. If the installation is still ongoing, it will auto-refresh once it's ready. Before we log in, we need to get our admin password. Navigate back to the Ansible Automation Platform Operator and select Automation Controller from the menu. Choose the newly installed Automation Controller and copy the admin password from the Secrets Details page. Log in to the controller with these credentials and you'll land on the AAP subscription page. Enter your subscription credentials. Select the appropriate subscription. Enable access to the user and automation analytics if you desire and click submit to gain access to the AAP dashboard. Once completed, you'll be able to explore all the features of the Ansible automation platform.